I'm Sarah DeSorti. I am a junior, dance performance choreography, dance science, and exercise science major. My name is Annie Marks. I am a double major in dance performance and choreography and uh, strategic communications, and I'm a senior. I would say choreography is a movement in the greater context of something to make it mean something greater than the movement itself. Choreography is weird. You don't really ever feel super confident in something that you set, I mean this is personal, but you don't feel super confident in something you set on other people just because you have this certain vision in your head of like what it's supposed to look like or how it's supposed to feel and that's practically impossible to like tell someone to do, like tell someone to feel something. The struggles and fears I think just in general as a choreographer, okay when you see your work over and over, like I've been working, I was working on the piece that I did for Fall Dance Concert for over a year. So seeing it that many times, it's hard sometimes as a choreographer to see the value of your own work. I, I personally just find myself sometimes comparing uh, my choreography to others and devaluing my own because I see theirs, individual artistic force is super creative and awesome, but also I forget that mine is too and it's just different, like I focus at least in the works I've created, less on the movement invention and more on changing people's perspectives and opening the audience's um, viewpoint. The process of building it. Well, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I had this whole plan, like I'm gonna make a duet and then I only could get one dancer to work with me and it was Sarah. And we actually started really late in the game because I was sick. I took some of that improv stuff that I had and was set on my sound score, which was the Alan Watts um, speech. And all that will really start it up. So in the same way as a muddy, turbulent pool quiets itself when left alone, you have to know how to leave your mind alone. Just played that and just took gestures from like the everyday life in my anatomy lecture specifically. My teacher would always move around the classroom and like use his hands to explain things. So a lot of those hand gestures made an appearance in my work. I envisioned this movement in space and I would do like that slow hinge thing for however long I thought it was, and then this, and then this. Like those were like set things from the very beginning that just I felt that the words, they, they were telling me to do that. In the process of building my own work, I start with inspiration around me from what I see, and then I have like a list in the back of my notebook of just, I'll see something and I'll just quickly jot it down. And then sometimes if I'm really preoccupied with one of those things, I'll go research it. Once I do a little more research, I'm usually inspired to move in some kind of way, so I'll go in the studio and improv in the context of whatever I just researched and explore what that is. I researched a lot about observational learning and emotional contagion within the context of society today. Just the sense of like powerlessness that came from what seemed to be just on the news, on social media, more and more aggression, more hate crimes, just a lot more hate than I had noticed before in this gesture part. Um, that was all from the research I developed in that moment. Once we got to the actual shows, she it was just like completely her piece and she had taken on those corrections and like my ideas that I handed over to her and made it her own. It felt really like collaborative because it was more of a conversation between the two of us as opposed to one choreographer versus a cast of dancers. There are cars on the street. It was a great experience for um, going through, think, having to think about all those different elements for when I go on and choreograph and put on my own work on stage postgrad. I was really happy with it. I was super excited to have this like actually be presented and like mean something. 
more than a grade. I actually got off stage after the first show and my dad said to me, the first thing he said was that um, that piece is you. He was like, they just kept saying things that you do, like worrying about worrying about worrying. Um, so it was, I don't know, it was really interesting to dance something that meant so much to me. People would come up to me after the show and say they loved it or like it was super inspirational and moving and powerful. I feel that over time my inspirations have definitely changed, but I feel like it's just all like experience. You really just start to question yourself and it's hard not to, but important to remember how valuable your artistry and choreography is. But if we open our ears, may we minimize our fears, may we minimize